What I've got here today is a whole bunch of fuses. I went out and bought this the other day from a local DIY store and it's got a selection of fuses in from 3 amp, 5 amp and 13. So, But I needed to know what fuse to use in my appliance. Now, a kettle is a well-known appliance that draws a lot of electricity. But what fuse rating do I put in the plug for this? Well, to work it out, I need to know what the wattage is. What? Yeah, that's right, the wattage. Now, I'm going to look on the appliance, or the box that it came in, which you've usually chucked away. At the bottom here, it's usually got a label, either like this, that you have to turn towards a light to read, or a sticker like this. Now, it's got some gobbledygook on here, that's, uh, we wouldn't understand some of it. Anyway, I'll just tell you what it says, 220 to 240 volts for the United Kingdom, uh, 50 to 60 hertz. But the one we're interested in here, it says 2500-3000 big W at the end, capital W. Now that means what? The watts. So it draws, I'm going to go for 3000, the maximum there, 3000 watts. That's what I'm interested in. I need that figure. But I'm also interested in putting a fuse in this little lamp. I want to know the wattage again. What? is the wattage of this lamp. Well on the bottom here we've got the sticker again but it doesn't tell me the wattage. Now that irritates me because I think it should because that helps us determine the fuse rating that we put in our plug. Anyway up inside here it says 60 watts and that's the bulb that I'm going to use in this appliance and nothing else is going to be used. It's going to draw no extra it's got nothing that I can turn up, so the maximum is going to be 60 watts for that appliance, because it's just a bulb. So, I'm going to work out the fuse that I need for that plug, which is going to be different to the kettle. Now, unfortunately, a lot of people just slam in a 13 amp fuse, and misunderstand that that's not going to give them safety. Especially with this, the lamp. Now, what I've wrote here, the first one I've done, what fuse do I use? This is the kettle and the watts that I've just determined by the label underneath, 3000. This is how you work it out on a calculator. You divide that by the 240 volts coming in your house. This is in the United Kingdom, by the way. Oh, and can I just say, I'm not an electrician. So if you need any further advice or you want to question this, please consult a qualified electrician with any electrical appliances or anything electrical that you do. Because you don't get a second chance if you get it wrong. Okay? So, anyway, 3000 divided by 240 gave me 12.5 on the calculator. Now, I want a fuse amperage that is greater than that number, but as near to it as I can possibly get. Well, with that packet that I just showed you a minute ago, the nearest I can get, obviously, is 13 amp. An extra 12.5. It's greater than, but as near to it as I can. Now the lamp was 60 watts, again I divided that on the calculator by 240 and it gave me a figure of 0.25. Well, I was thinking, well do I need to use something like a, a, a 1 watt? Well I've never seen a 1 watt amp fuse, so the lowest I've got in that packet is a, a 3 amp. So if there's a qualified electrician out there that can correct that for me and tell me there's a 2 amp available, please do so. I've never seen one yet. Anyway. I've just put down here something to be aware of, a residual current device. That's this acronym here, RCD, known as a tripper switches. You can get individual ones of these or you can use, change your fuse box, your main fuse box in your house, to the residual current device. Uh, that detectors, detects surges of electricity and cuts off at that particular fuse. Um, now, again I've done one here at the bottom. Uh, this hairdryer here. I needed to determine what fuse to put in here. Now on the side here, I found it. You have to turn it like at an angle towards the light. Again, it's got the usual information on here, but the one we're looking for is the W. 1,200 watts it gave me there. 
Again, I worked it out. 1,200 divided by 240 volts coming in the house equal 5. So I was able to just use a 5 amp fuse. Okay, so I hope that helps with your individual appliances for your safety aspect. Don't just keep using 13 amp fuses. Put the correct amperage in there. Again, if you're in doubt, go back to this YouTube video or consult a qualified electrician or Google it or whatever. But the last one I wanted to show you which makes things a bit more confusing and I'll try to explain it as simply as I can. Now I've got a, an extension here, an extension cable lead, whatever you want to call it. I've got a six socket, so it's a six gang extension. They're all individually switched. Okay. Now each individual appliance you put on here, make sure it's got the correct amperage fuse but what's important also with this is the plug that plugs into your obviously your socket, your main socket, everything is going to go through this. So the fuse that's in here has to be the correct one. And as it is, it's a 13 amp fuse in here, and that's the highest you can get. Now the amount of electricity or the maximum wattage that's allowed through a 13 amp fuse, what is that? Well, you think about the kettle, that was 3000 and I needed a, a 13 amp fuse for that. Let's do the calculation the other way around. You see what I mean when I do it. If I think of a 13 amp fuse, that's like the answer with the kettle. If I reverse it, instead of dividing it, I'm going to times it by that 240. And it's going to give me 3,120 watts. That's the maximum I can put through this extension. So if I put a kettle and a toaster an air dryer, I'm, I'm straight over the amount, I can't put, that's too much, there's too much wattage. So be aware what you're putting into an extension. You can put, you know, some lamps, your Christmas lights, that's not going to go over your 13 amp. Add all the wattage together of each individual appliance that you put through here, okay? If you put a kettle at 3000 and a toaster at 2000, you're already over it, forget the rest. It's just going to blow, it's not going to work. And then, next, as I say, if you put Christmas lights on through that are at low wattage, you're probably going to be alright. Okay? And when you're not using individual ones, like say you've got a mobile phone charger in there, just switch them off when you're not using them as well. Because they continue to draw electricity. So, yeah, remember that. 13 amp fuse, 3120 watts is the maximum you can put through it. And to calculate that, you take the six, whatever you've got plugged in here, add them all together. Okay? A lamp at 60, a toaster at 2000, uh, and other small appliances. Just don't go over 3120. As I say, I hope that helps you. Um, thanks for watching, and if you've got any questions or suggestions for making the video better, please let me know. Thank you. Bye.